Hey, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, I've got the situation that I've talked with a lot about how fast this uh, Victron that over there we're charging up a 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery with this Victron MPPT 7515 and it just went into absorption mode as you can see here and I just wanted to show you just how fast this is. Uh, here, 0 watts, 14.19, and then it just lets in to get back up to 14.2 in full sunshine at the moment, only 4 watts. And then it gets up to the 14.2, 14.21, and then it drops right back down to only what is needed. And I'm getting a lot of those intermittent uh, clouds and sunshine like I get here. I never see a big spike like I do in that EP ever. So I just thought this was a good opportunity to show you just how fast that Victron is and why I'm a, a, a big fan of that. I don't get that surge. Four watts coming in, holding it in the absorption mode, 14.2. Exactly, goes down to three. It lets in exactly what is needed and it doesn't do that, uh, you know, surge of, you know, 50 watts when the sun pops back in after the panels have cooled from a, a cloud coverage. Just rock steady, only the bare minimum of what is needed to keep it at the absorption uh, voltage for the, the, the duration of absorption. And it'll drop it down to zero. And then if it needs one watt, two watts, three watts, just to keep it in that absorption mode. And that tr that's the trouble that I have with the EP Evers. You know, it, it just doesn't track this fast and this accurately. I'll get those clouds roll in when I'm in absorption mode on the EP Ever. And then the, the clouds move away, panels get full sun, and the EP ever will, you know, send way too much in just momentarily, and that's where I've been getting the alarms. Have never seen this uh, Victron charger ever once allow any surge. There you saw uh, 15 watts real quick, I think, and then got back to 14.2, bam, zero. And so, you know, on the 100 amp hour battery, it just doesn't take that much once you've uh, got to the absorption stage to keep it there. So now there's full sun coming in on those panels. These are my test panels out there in the yard. And uh, you can see full sun, four watts. And that's 200 watts worth of solar out there. So it's it never, never does uh, do anything that pushes it up over its absorption voltage. Well, I just happened to be able to catch it right here, sitting right here, and show you what I have talked so many times about. Now, uh, the, ba the house battery bank is uh, not quite up towards the absorption, or I could show you how, how the, uh, it differs on those EP Evers from, you know, spiking, uh, too much at times during your absorption charge. So anyway, just wanted to show you guys that. thought it was interesting. I could catch it right here. 3 watts, 14.2, 2 watts. Just, you know, exactly what is needed and no more and no less. All right. Finally caught it at the right time. Aloha, everybody.